Ladies and gentlemen, I commend you on the impressive and unified front you have displayed today in London. This couldn't come at a more critical time because the world is under attack from a common enemy. It was on this day in 1979 that the Islamic Republic came into being. Soon thereafter, it took our great nation hostage. It made Iranian women second-class citizens. It began a campaign of persecution against Jews, Baha'is, Christians, Zoroastrians, even devout Muslims who refused to accept the new regime's vile ideology. It persecuted anyone and everyone who refused to support its campaign to export its revolution of terror beyond Iran's borders. In the ensuing years, far too many have been added to the list of victims of this regime's terror as the Islamic Republic has pillaged our national resources to bring its war to the people of the Middle East and Europe. Israelis and Ukrainians are particularly aware of this shameful crime falsely committed in the name of our great civilization. While suicide drones and missiles financed by our nation's plundered wealth rain down on you, the Iranian people continue to face brutal repression at home. That is why your unified presence here today is so important. You are showing that you recognize the truth. Now is the time to unite behind the peace-seeking people of Iran who are fighting for liberation from this regime. As you stand with them in solidarity, call on your elected officials to do more. Tell them the people of Iran deserve maximum support in this fight. The Iranian people are fighting not just to free themselves, but to bring peace and stability to the region and the world.